I had a dream the other week where Michelle Obama told me my YouTube channel was shit. So if you didn't know, my second favorite franchise of all time, right behind Sonic, is Five Nights at Freddy's. Therefore, it's safe to assume I have a problem. I have quite a bit of FNAF merch, and most of it is made by a little-known company called Funko. In my opinion, they've done an excellent job at capturing the world of FNAF in plastic and fabric form. So one day, the thought came into my head, what company would get the master toy license to Sonic once Jax is done? And I had an idea. What would happen if Funko were to become the next master toy partner to Sonic? What if they had complete creative liberties to make whatever they want? Funko has worked with Sonic in the past, and even currently, so it's safe to assume they know the way around. Today I'm going to pitch a hypothetical Sonic merchandise line that would be made by Funko. I've made two different lines of their merchandise today, first being their action figures, and second being their mystery minis. I'm only doing those two, and I decided not to make plushes and pop figures because one, this video took long enough as it is, and two, I don't think I'm skilled enough to make concepts or plushes that actually look viewable, and three, I hate pop figures. Also, this video took a very... Very long time to make, so to the 75% of you watching who aren't subscribed, subscribe right now or I'm getting 10 to 12 years with good behavior. By the way, my main goal of 2021 is to reach 1,000 subscribers, and we just reached 60% of the way there, so subscribing really does help. Also, some of these concepts use artwork taken from various places, so for all the art used, credit goes to each artist. Without any further ado, let's go, starting with the action figures I made. Oh yeah, and before you comment, I know these are all radical character choices, so shut up. So firstly, these would have the same amount of articulation as the Jazzware figures, minus the stomach. I just never thought it looked good to be honest, plus these would all be 5 inches tall. But here's an idea, I know it would be completely useless, but what if they had tail articulation, because why the hell not? They would all have an accessory too, as well as a piece to a special build a figure when you get all 5 in a set. But anyway, here's wave 1 out of the 5 I made, starting with Sonic. I really like this packaging, it's based off of Jax a little, but I think the pixels and the slight gradient makes it pop. But anyway, here's Sonic who would include a ring, which would actually be painted metallic unlike Jax, and he comes with metal Sonic's arm. Moving on to Tails, he would be a little shorter than Sonic, unlike Jax, that's too short, and would have his little Miles Electric from Sonic Unleashed that he can hold. Plus, he would of course have rotatable tails and comes with Metal's leg. Moving on, we got your boy Nipples the Enchilada. He comes with the Master Emerald, of course, which would be super translucent and shiny. He'd be a bit taller than Sonic, and he comes with Metal's other arm. Then we have Amy, who would have a dress that's made out of rubber like they did with their Rick Sanchez figure. Plus, she comes with her hammer she can hold. And what if the hammer had rubber at the end of it, so when you hit something, it makes a kind of squeaky sound? That would be cool. And she has Metal's other leg. Now on to our final figure, Eggman. He would be a rather tall lad, plus he has a minifigure of a modern motobug included, and he has Metal's head and torso, and with Metal, can we actually get him metallic this time like Jazzwares did? So that was it for Wave 1, basically just the super main characters and nothing else, so now we move on to Wave 2. And here's where the characters get a little crazy, starting with our boy Shadow. I really want him to have metallic gold inhibitor rings like Jax did, that was pretty cool. And as you can see, the build figure here is a long-awaited Omega. He'd be way taller and bulkier than the others, and he would have a shiny metallic look like Metal Sonic. Plus, Shadow here comes with the first out of seven Chaos Emeralds, being his iconic green one. And here's an idea, what if the emeralds glow in the dark? Funko does that all the time, and it's totally possible. Moving on, we get to Super Sonic, who would be coated in a glossy finish to make him look shiny. Not metallic though, god, not again. He's got the red emerald as well as Omega's leg. Oh yeah, and these emeralds would be pretty small, like small enough to hold in their hands, unlike somebody. And then we get to a more major one, Silver. He would be awesome as a figure here, since the neon parts on him could glow in the dark. I gave him the blue emerald specifically here, since that's the one he gave to Elise in 06, and he comes with Omega's other leg. Plus, I don't know if this is possible, or if it were, I don't even know if it'd look good, but what if his fur was, like, actually made out of fur? It's just a thought, though. I could see that getting lost in translation rather easily. Then we get to one that's downright historic, Rouge the Bat. Currently, if you want a Rouge figure, the only choice you have is a Toy Island Rouge, which goes for $300 on eBay. So this figure will let the average schmo like me get a Rouge figure. Her wings would be able to flap, and she has Omega's arm. And here I decided to give her two of the Chaos Emeralds as opposed to one, since it goes with her character being a jewel thief. Then on to the final figure of the way, Blaze the Cat, another fan favorite who rarely gets merchandise, and the only figure she has is the Jazzwares one, which I own, of course. I spent $80 on this. Her tail would be articulated, and her dress would also be made out of rubber like Amy's. And she comes with Omega's head and torso, as well as one of the soul emeralds, which would also glow in the dark. That's wave 2, now on to wave 3, starting with the head of the Chaotix, Vector the Crocodile. This guy would be a bit taller than the others, and he would have a rough scaly texture carving into him, as well as a shiny chain. His accessory is the walkie-talkie from Sonic Heroes, plus he gets the foot of this wave's build-a-figure, Big the Cat. Given by Vector's inclusion, I'm guessing you all know where this is going, here's Espio. Here's another idea that I don't 
know if it would work or not. How about when this figure gets hotter, it changes color and changes to a different color when it gets colder. I remember having this Lightning McQueen toy that did the same thing when I was little and it was like the coolest thing ever, so it'd be cool here if SBO did it. Oh yeah, and he gets his kunai and Big's arm, moving on. Then we get to the final member of Chaotix, Charmy B. Since he's the rather small boy, he gets the head and torso of Big as well as Froggy, plus the white emerald. His wings would be translucent, plus articulated, and so would his antenna. And also his helmet would be made out of rubber like Amy to give it the right texture. Then we move on to another historic one, Cream the Rabbit. Just like Rouge, her only figure is from Toy Island and it goes for a lot, but this figure would be the best Cream figure yet considering her accessories are Cheese and Chocola. Toy Island made a Cheese figure and Cheese has two plushes, but Chocola has literally nothing, so it'd be cool if we got him as a figure here. Cream's dress would be made out of rubber, Cheese and Chocola would have clear little stands to make them look like they're floating, and she comes with Big's leg. Then on to the last, and probably the most interesting one yet, Emerald. I always thought Emerald would make a pretty cool action figure, so I thought why not pair him up with Cream. There's not really much to say about him, except for that he comes with the light blue Chaos Emerald and Big's other arm. Then we got Caillou here, he's gonna be a pretty cool figure, super unique. On to the fourth wave, we get to what I guarantee will be the most controversial wave, the Classic Wave. This wave is kinda just a classified version of Wave 1, so let's start with Classic. Sonic. One thing I want them to do is give him shiny polished shoes like Tomy did. It's a nice way to make him look high quality for just being the 4 billionth classic Sonic figure. And he comes with classic metal's arm as well as a goal ring. I know it's a modern goal ring, but just let me have this one. Moving on his classic tails, his tails obviously rotate, and he gets a little figure of Flicky as an accessory, plus metal's arm. Classic Knuckles, who comes with metal's leg, plus the hat from the OVA. I mean, come on, was I supposed to make a classic Knuckles figure without the hat? Jesus. Classic Amy, who again has the rubber, plus her hammer, which would be stylized after how it appears in Sonic the Fighters, plus many adventures, and she gets Metal's arm. Finally, classic Eggman has a rubber cape, plus Metal's head and torso, and a minifigure of a crab meat, a badnik we've actually never gotten a figure of, surprisingly, at least in modern style, since this would be based off of generations. So with that, we reach the end of the main Sonic action figure ways, but I got even more Bucko exclusive time. Funko loves making exclusive products to stores, and I think it's really fun for collectors, making them go on a wild goose chase around different stores to complete your set. So I made eight different exclusive figures, all at different stores. Firstly, a GameStop exclusive, Gemeral. He's just a simple re-sculpt and repaint of Emerald, so this is totally doable. And he gets two of the Soul Emeralds alongside, because why not? Also, no Build-A-Figure, as you can see, since they don't do that with exclusives. Then the other variant here is Sonic with the Gauntlet and Caliburn from Sonic and the Black Knight. He's exclusive to Target and has a new expression on his face where he's grinning. Other than those two, the rest are all completely new figures with brand new sculpts, and this is where we get to those super radical character choices. Firstly, as a Walmart exclusive, Sticks the Badger. She would have a boomerang as her accessory, plus another Soul Emerald because sure. I mean, while Boom is dead, Styx is on the Sonic Channel website in the character lineup, so she is an official part of the main series now. Moving on to an Amazon.com exclusive, E-102 Gamma. This guy would be sick, and he'd be taller than all the others, and if it were possible, maybe he could crouch down and turn into his running animation where he rolls. That would be awesome. Then we have a Walgreens exclusive, the Werehog. He would have some extra articulation in his arms to help recreate the stretchiness from that game, and he comes with a little minifigure of Chip. But now we get on to the final three, my favorite figures I made. Firstly, we have a Barnes & Noble exclusive, Tangle the Lemur. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't look in this, this direction. So yeah, Tangle from IDW Sonic as a figure. I want Tangle as a figure specifically really bad, so I hope this one actually happens one day. And she has extra articulation in her tail, just like the Werehog. And she comes with the final two Soul Emeralds. And since we have Tangle, of course, the next figure needs to be a Hot Topic exclusive, Whisper. Her mask would be removable, and it would glow in the dark, and her cape would be made out of rubber. Her accessory here would be the Wisp gun, which would be sick. And as I'm writing this, maybe she could have a Whisper something, I don't know. So then we get to the final action figure in this video. The one all you lovely commenters wouldn't shut the actual f up about in the last video. So here you go, Sally Eggcorn as an FYE exclusive, using her post Super Genesis wave design. Now, I don't know how possible this is, since I don't even think Sega owns the modern design of Sally anymore, but screw it, I don't care. She would have her, um, her, um, her, 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 her ring blades, and she would come with her Nicole handheld DS thing, which I put a little Nicole face printed on the screen of. So yeah, this would be a phenomenal figure, but even if they have their fans, the Freedom Fighters are kinda dead currently, at least the Sega. So that's it for all the figures I made, but oh no, we're only halfway done. I made an entire line of mystery minis. Now, please note, I am no artist. These are just complete representation of what these would look like, so don't be too critical on these. And most of these guys' heads were based off of these vector icons made by Nibrock Rock, so 
credit to him. But anyway, here's the packaging I made. I really like it. It fits with the action figures and it has all different characters around it. And here's what a box of them would look like in a store. But without further ado, let's start with Sonic. So all these have a body shape inspired by the FNAF minis. They have this chibi look, which honestly I kind of like. It makes them look super unique compared to most other Sonic figures. They can only move with their heads, but some of them could be put in cool poses or something like Shadow could be doing Chaos Control or Amy could have her hammer or something. Oh yeah, right, Sonic. Well, I don't really have much to say for a lot of these, so let's just move on to Tails. His tails will be going off to the side like Tommy did with their classic tails, so it creates this cool illusion. Knuckles is next, who I was going to make a little bit taller, but in this scale, who really cares? Also, in this drawing, I unintentionally made him look like a priest. Father Knuckles, I have sinned. Amy here, who was a great time to mention that these figures have no metallicness or real detail because they're just small little minifigures, so her rings here would just be flat yellow. Plus, I didn't know if it's possible to give her a hammer, but then I remembered that they made scrap babies, so they can pretty much do anything. Then on to Shadow, who, as I said, could be totally holding a chaos symbol or something. Rouge, who I think would look really cool in this style. Silver here, who could glow in the dark, and I know they can do it because they did it on Jacko Chica. Blaze, who would look slightly pissed off. Vector, who, uh, gonna be honest, this one doesn't look the best, but trust me, I went back and edited him. He used to look a lot worse. Espio, whose tail would be shrunken and adorable on the scale. My second favorite in the set, Charmy, who would be a bit smaller than the others, and he would have translucent wings. My favorite in the main set, Cream, who is again smaller like Charmy and has a tiny little cheese on her head. The cheese itself is like the Freddles they did on Nightmare Freddy, where it's a miniature version of the character in the same style as the others. Eggman, who looks a little weird, but that was kind of unavoidable since he's a human in this cartoony style. Metal, who looks really cool paired with Eggman. The Werehog, who probably could have his mouth open like this render. Big, who's a bit chonkier than the others and has a little froggy on on his head. And finally, Super Sonic and Super Shadow, which speak for themselves, basically. And there you go, all the characters in the main set. In total, there's 18, which seems like a lot, but you know what, I don't care, screw it. Here's the rarity chart that would be printed on the back of every box. As you can see, the three rarest ones are Super Sonic, Super Shadow, and Big, because I can. But you know how it goes by now, time for exclusives. There's 15 in total and five stores with them. Starting out, we have three GameStop exclusives, which are Chaos, who would be completely translucent, with his brain, which would be actually encased within him. Infinite, who, while I hate as a character, I liked his design enough to stick him in GameStop. And finally, Mephilus, who would have flat at the bottom of his feet so he can still stand. I specifically made these three more well-known characters that Epic Gamers would know, given GameStop's general audience. So with Walmart, a family store, I made two out of three characters kids who watch Sonic Boom would know, being Styx, who could hold a boomerang or something, Orbot and Cubot, which are my favorite so far, who would be conjoined together like what they did with the Mean Arena Mini, and the other one's Emerald because I had to stick them somewhere. Next is Walgreens, who has Burning Blaze, a simple but cool recolor, Super Silver, who goes with Super Sonic and Shadow, and Tikal because she kinda has a relation to the Chaos Emeralds or whatever. On to Target, we've got a simple classic Sonic figure to appease the classic fans, this one of Tails doll complete with a little clear stand to make it look like he's floating, and finally, the one that took me so long to make, Omega. This man is an absolute beast and it literally took me over two hours to draw him, so yeah. This one's definitely my favorite out of all of these. And finally, the final figures in this video, the Hot Topic exclusives. First, Marine, who I made a bit smaller of course, and I only, only made her because I thought she'd pair well next to Blaze. And then on to the final two. Two characters that I couldn't even find head shapes online, so I had to do them 100% from scratch by hand. First, Tangle, who's got a big tail and could be posed in a cool way, like maybe a zigzag with her tail or something. And finally, in my opinion, the best drawing I did in this whole video, Whisper, who's complete with her mask as well as her gun. So yeah, there you go. There's my pitch for a hypothetical Funko Sonic merch line. If I'm being honest, through making this video, which was pretty fun may I add, I actually realized that giving Funko the Sonic license is really a great idea. After Jax, name another company that could pump out all kinds of stuff like Funko does. Eh, who am I kidding? We probably just get Sonic Blacklight before we got to Wave 2. But anyway, this video took me so, so long to make. So subscribe or I'll kill you or something. I don't know. And as I said, my main goal is to get a thousand subs by the end of the year year, and at the rate we're going, that looks pretty possible. So yeah, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and start screaming the entire script of Sonic Forces at the top of my lungs. Sonic! How I hate him! You